Hello guys, welcome back to my Brown Physio. I'm Dr. Neha Singh, and today in this video we're gonna see shaft of humerus fracture. So it is more common in adults than in children. It can be transverse, oblique, spiral, communicated, and segmental. The mechanism of action is direct force. That is transverse or comminuted fracture. It can happen in a road traffic accident or in any assault. Then indirect fracture, which consists of oblique or spiral, it happens due to fall on outstretched hand. Then third can be due to birth injuries. Now coming to the pain, clinical feature, pain, swelling, loss of range of motion and function. Then you have to also check for any sign of radial nerve injury. that is wrist drop now for investigation x-ray should be taken in anterior posterior as well as lateral view of both shoulder and elbow now treatment seeing both conservative management and surgical medical management for conservative management that is for undisplaced fracture splint hanging cast plaster use splint functional cast brace should be used and for surgical that is for displaced fracture or if uh, using the intramedullary kneeling and uh, plating of the humerus an external fixator should be done now complication can be radial nerve injury vascular injury malunion non union now coming to the physiotherapy management rehabilitation goal for pain management to restore full range of motion to restore activity of daily living to strengthen muscle now looking for the conservative management and surgical management uh, for the physiotherapy point of view first let's see for the conservative in first week cast or splint is there no shoulder elbow movement should be there finger wrist forearm active range of motion check for splint position and padding in second week that is 2 to 3 weeks active active assisted range of motion isometric of deltoid biceps and triceps should be done in 4 to 6 week and in 8 to 12 week it is same for both conservative and surgical management so before moving on to that let's see what would be the surgical management for first week and second week for first week in case of orif gentle assisted range of motion exercise no straining for activity of daily living involved limb should be made in use and no weight bearing in second week that is second to third week shoulder abduction should not be beyond 60 degree general pendulum exercise and we have to examine axilla uh, and radial nerve injury if there is any signs or uh, any the loss of reduction sign now coming to the 4 to 6 weeks which is same in both conservative and surgical then for pain we can use tens swd heat and ultrasound then we have to check x-ray for any radial nerve involvement sign as radial nerve gets involved in the callus that is forming around the fracture then self mobilization the patient holds the arm in the sling with the other arm to make gentle movement then pendulum exercise in standing shoulder wheel and sand bag now coming to the 8 to 12 week the fracture will be stable by this time irrespective of the treatment complete range of motion all activity of daily living light weight lifting full weight bearing should be done examine the radial nerve injury that's it for this video i hope you like the video and it might have helped you So see you in my next video till then see you bye bye